this is a great question, and I know you're going to love it. Um, <laughs> that this may be a surface reading. I'm just reading here. This may be a surface reading, but it appears to me that divesting yourself of the name um, Garowitz can be read as an evasion of your Jewish heritage. Can you speak to this and to your Holocaust project um, more generally, especially your, uh, your decision to have, your photograph, have yourself photographed lying down in a gas chamber at Auschwitz? That's a, that's a really long question. <laughs> but it wasn't Auschwitz. It was actually the first concentration camp Donald and I visited. It was Natzweiler in the Alsace-Lorraine uh, area of France. It could never have been Auschwitz because Auschwitz is all cleaned up. Uh, Natzweiler still had ashes in the uh, oven. And Donald and I were early in our trip around Eastern Europe when we were researching for the Holocaust Project. The, uh, actually, Gail took up this question uh, in her biography. And she went to Cal Southern California and like, interviewed people about you know, whether they knew I was Jewish. And everybody said, oh yeah, we all knew Judy was Jewish. She used to use all these Yiddish expressions all the time. So it's not exactly like I was hiding my Jewishness. It never actually crossed my mind that anybody would think that. My favorite was when somebody said, I changed my name to Judy Chicago so my initials would be JC. <laughs> but my maiden name was Judy, Co Judy Cohen, so I don't see quite how that ha worked. <laughs> um, so no, Gail pretty well took that up because there was actually an art historian who wrote that and it pissed Gail off, so she decided to research it and find out if it was true. I, I just didn't have Jewish consciousness, you know, for until, like, when Donald and I, I had just sort of started thinking that when Donald and I met in 19, and ignited at Zazobra. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, I had just started thinking about why I knew so little about Jewish history and the Holocaust. I knew nothing about the Holocaust. In fact, there was this poet here named Harvey Mudd who uh, I knew, and he, he had written this big, and he's not Jewish, he had written this really long poem about the Holocaust. And I'm like, God, the Holocaust? I don't know anything about the Holocaust. How could that be? My father was a political activist, and he was a student of history, you know, it, we, Donald and I grew up before Holocaust studies were mandated in school, and um, my, father's re my father was descended from 23 generations of rabbis, and he was supposed to carry on the tradition, okay? My mother told this story about when they were courting. My grandmother, of course, kept kosher because her husband had been a rabbi, and every Friday night, they would go there for dinner, and one time, apparently, my mother asked my father, do you want me to learn to cook kosher? And my father said to my mother, Jewish food makes me sick. <laughs> Which was kind of his relationship to our history, except the fact that we were descended from some famous rabbi, and so we had blue blood. <laughs> 